in order to check whether a given machine given finite state machine is a definite machine or not using testing table and testing graph we need to first develop the testing table for the purpose now here is the machine the upper part of the testing table is the finite state machine itself so using this upper part the machine information we need to develop the lower part of the testing table and from that lower part of the testing table we need to develop the graph testing graph and if there is any loop in the testing graph we conclude that the machine is not a definite machine and if there is no loop in the testing graph we conclude that the machine is definite machine and the longest path of the of the of the graph is actually going to generate the going to give us the information about the uh, definiteness order of definiteness now in order to build the lower half of the testing table what we are doing we are just clubbing each pair of states uh, if there are five states then we are getting this a b a c a d a e b c b d b e c d c e and d e now we are pairing each state with the other so on the right hand side what we are going to do is to find out the uh, implied pairs so for a b it is just do the unions it is a d that means a d is the implied pair for a b and it is b e for a c it is for a and c it is c d you can see that for a and c it is c and d just write the ar uh, earlier alphabet earlier and then for a c x is equal to 1 it is b e for a d for a and d it is c d for a and d it is b e again for a e a e it is for e it is a here for zero for a it is d so for a e it is a d and it is b e for b c what you can see here for b it goes to a for zero c it goes to c so that means it is a c for b c the implied pair is a c for b c the implied pair is b b for input one it is both the cases we are having b here for b d for b d we are having a c and b b a c and b b for b e we are having a a and b b for b e we are having a a and b b for c d for c and d we are having c c and b b for c e for c e it is a c and b b for d e it is a c and b b again so we will not take we will not take the same uh, same same states pairing with each other same states pairing with itself that means all these states are going to be eliminated in the uh, development of the testing graph so we are not going to test we are not going to take this one this bb is not going to be taken this is not going to be we are not going to take all these things because it's the same state pairing with itself so we are not going to take this one this one uh, nothing else so now we need to draw the testing graph for the purpose now the graph is going to contain vertices this uncertainty pair a b is one vertex of the graph so each of the pair there in the lower half of the testing table is a vertex in the testing graph so a b is one of the vertex a b then a c one two three four five so there are 10 actually a c a d a e then comes b c then comes b d then comes b e then comes c d then comes c e and then d e so all these 10 vertices are there so now we need to check for a b it is the implied pair b e and a d for a b it is having an implied pair a d so there should be a directed arc from a b to a d so a d is here so a b to a d should be a directed i am just ch changing the color so a b to a d is a directed arc from a b to b e also there should be a directed arc for a b to b e 
then from AC to CD as you can see AC to CD and AC to BE AC to CD AC to CD and AC to BE AC to BE AC to BE is here so AC to BE then from AD to CD and BE from AD to CD and BE CD is here CD is here AD to CD and AD to BE BE is here then from AE to AD, AE to AD and BE, BE is here from BC to AC, from BC to AC, AC is here from BD to AC, from BD to AC BD to AC is here, I'm just writing outside, drawing outside okay then be to aa we should not use this aa because it is the repeating state repeating the same repeat, repeat of the same state uh, and bb is again the repeat so cd arrow bbcc we are not going to take this ce arrow ac should be there ce arrow ac and then comes de arrow ac de arrow ac that's the final one so now we need to find out the longest path and first of all we need to check whether there is any loop in this graph or not if there is any loop this is not a definite machine if loop free then definite machine otherwise it's not otherwise not so we can observe that this machine is loop free we do not have any loop here uh, as you can check d it goes to ac then we do not have any out going arc here again bc goes to ac it doesn't go have any outgoing arc so from ad to cd and there is no outgoing arc from ab we are coming be we don't have any outgoing arc uh, bd has an outgoing arc but there is no incoming arc here so in this way you can check that there is no loop in the graph and so it is definite machine now we need to find out that order of definiteness that's the longest path plus one if the longest path is l then mu is equal to l plus one now what you get from here is that mu is two l is two because you can check that this is the longest path bc ac and then cd uh, we don't have anything more so bc to ac1 ac to cd1 so one plus one two or ab or you can check in this way bd to ac then ac to cd or there are many paths with at most uh, l is equal to 2 value so uh, this is the longest path in the graph so we get mu is equal to 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 in the other example in the last in the earlier tutorial of a definite machine where i have demonstrated how to check definiteness uh, by using the contracted table method or synchronizing tree method i have used the same example where uh, uh, I came to the came to the definiteness order of mu is equal to three. So it's same again uh, by using the using the testing table and testing graph method. So you can use either of these three. If in examination you are asked to solve the problem using a specific method, and then you need to do it in a specific way. Otherwise, you can choose either of these three methods in order to solve the problem. Thank you very much.